Hi angels, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about skincare because I feel like so many people have been asking about what I do to take care of my skin. So before I get into this, I want you guys to know that I have acne prone, oily skin. And as we get into the winter, my skin kind of changes more into combo. So in this area, or like I'll get dryness around here and it'll be oily here. So yeah, it'll like transition. It's be, it's a little bit weird. And I feel like as we get older, our skin begins to change. And as that happens, we have to switch up our products. So this morning I'm actually starting out with a face mask because I have a lot of work on the computer to do. And I thought might as well be multitasking. I'm going in with the Caudalie, um, this is the Energetic C Plus mask. This is an instant detox mask and it's actually pink. So, you know, I'm gonna be matching. By the way, I'm wearing my Benefit Self Love Club shirt. So I'm just starting off with applying this. And it says to leave this on for, I'm pretty sure five to 10 minutes. I really like this mask. Yeah, five to 10 minutes. And it smells really good. It feels like a spa kind of vibe. And I'm here for that. We need all the relaxation we can get. So I like using this little like spatula-ish type vibe to apply this and then right after I can just wash it off and it no like there's no waste really like look you could get everything but yeah I like I love face masks I'm one of those people that likes to do my self-care and likes to just unwind light some candles or like light some incense and just like sit and take that time in have a nice hot cup of hot chocolate and you know do all of that it's more of a newer um mask for me i haven't been using it for a really long time but all the short time that i have been using it i've been noticing a difference in my skin and i really like that like it calms my skin down when i'm having a breakout and recently i've been having these like little pimples on my forehead i don't know who they think they are coming in here but anyway so I'm gonna go and do some work and leave this on. It's gonna dry and then I'm gonna come back and do the rest, oh wait, hello, I almost completely forgot my nose. My nose is like red, <laughs> my nose is red after washing my face. So by the way, I did already wash my face, I should mention that, and my go-to cleanser that I've been using forever, so you guys probably have seen this one before, this is the First Aid Beauty Deep Cleanser with red clay. So this is great for anyone with acne prone skin, anyone with oily skin, but I still continue to use it in the winter months because it just keeps my skin looking clear and nobody wants a breakout, like especially when you used to have bad acne like myself, you do not want a breakout happening. So this is great and it's not stripping of the skin. Like you know how sometimes like acne cleansers can leave your skin feeling super dry after and like you can barely move your face. Like it's not that vibe at all. I also have eczema. So my, my stuff can't be super drying. It has to be safe for sensitive skin. So yeah, I will be back once this is dry and you will see the instant results of the mask. But of course this takes prolonged, like you have to use it often to see results. Just like any skincare guys, be patient. Okay, I'm back. My face mask is like peeling off. I left it on too long. I ate breakfast. I made breakfast. I did the most. So I'm just going to wash it off quickly. We are just drying off. Next up, I'm going to go in with my hydrating serum by First Aid Beauty. This has hyaluronic acid in it. So I like to just wet my face a little bit so that the moisture can be soaked up into my skin. So I'm just popping that on. Looks like this. Just using one pump. And I'm just rubbing that. It feels so nice and it ha it doesn't really have a scent, but it's fr like it, I still feel fresh when I'm applying something like this. What I do with my skincare that I feel like is important, wait to let it just soak in between each step. So I'm going to wait like maybe 30 seconds to a minute and then move on to the next step. Next up, I'm going in with my Murad eye cream. This is the targeted wrinkle corrector, which is really cool because it has this part right here, which is like cooling when you press it down, which is meant to depuff. puff So I just apply like a small amount on each side. You're technically supposed to go like this to rub it in. I like to use my fingers. And then if you want to use that deep puffing, you can still use that. It's literally up to you. So I really, I've been using this for a while now, like, a couple, no, more than a couple months, a few months. 
and I feel like it is doing my under eyes justice. It's helping with the wrinkles. Like I'm noticing little fine lines under there sometimes. And for me, it really comes down to hydration. Like sometimes you'll think, oh my God, am I getting wrinkles? But then it's just because your skin is really dry. So I'm letting that set in. Then I'm going in with one of my favorites. This is the Facial Radiance Niacinamide Dark Spot Serum by First Aid Beauty. So I've kind of run, I'm running out of this. So I need to kind of do this to get whatever's left in there. Yeah, so I'm just taking a small amount and popping that on. This is another step where I like to apply it. And then I'm going to wait like a little bit, like a minute before applying my next step because I like my skin to just soak it all in. If you're finding that you have those little like pills on the top of your skin afterward, could be because you're not letting it soak in. You might be using too much product. There's a couple of reasons why. Okay, a bird just flew by. I have no idea if we saw it in the window here, but I saw it in my mirror and I was like, it was like a giant bird, like a pterodactyl. <laughs> I feel like this one's not gonna be a surprise for anyone. We're going in with the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream, one of my absolute favorites. I cannot live without this cream. Um, whether I'm using it in the morning or the night, I'm still, I'm like, I use it all the time, midday. Like, I'm obsessed with this. I like to layer this baby on and just bathe in this. If you have eczema, you're gonna love this. Like it's just so nourishing. My skin just soaks it up, especially in the winter. So yeah, and pro tip, sometimes in the winter when I'm feeling really, really dry, I layer this, so I pop a good amount of this on, and then on top of it, I layer Vaseline, which is slugging. Um, and yeah, it really, really, really helps my skin, especially in like the really dry areas, like around the mouth. Um, also, if you're using retinol, it can definitely be drying. If you know, you know. So this is a tip that can definitely help. Finishing with the Rosebud Salve. And this is a, an oldie but a goodie. I've loved this for so many years. Always repurchase this. It's just great. Pop it on my lips, let it soak in, and then I'll jump into my makeup. Of course, you will follow up with your sunscreen as the last step. I like to do that back like in my studio as I'm filming. Um, and closer to the time that I'm going outside versus like right now in the first thing in the morning. But yeah, guys, that was my full morning skincare routine. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to link my other videos right here for you guys to check out. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I post every single Sunday. So I will see you next week.